Live and direct, live and the no jive. Live in the mix. Yo, 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 welcome to the net. It's TNT's biggest and hottest entertainment show. All right, I'm your host, Shal, alongside my very sexy co-host. Candy. And for the next eight weeks, we're going to feature all your big, big international soca stars right here at the net, all your big soca bands, all your big DJs, right? In fact, Candy's supposed to have some features lined up for us. Candy? Yes, each week here on the net, I'm going to be answering your emails that you sent to me at the net live on hotmail.com. And before I forget, that's my feature. It's called Dear Candy. You can also send your letters to Bread Boy Entertainment, 39 Gordon Street, Port of Spain. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help you break into the entertainment industry by giving you a little tips on, you know, just how to get into it. I know it's a dynamic world, but... If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, there's got to be a way. I mean, Charles did it. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Another feature before I forget, Living Legends. Each week, we're going to feature a Soka great or, or maybe a Calypso great and just find out how they did it and broke into the entertainment industry here. As well as, not forgetting, Charles Forte, DJs in the net. Of course. <laughs> we're going to feature some big DJs, big sound systems in the entertainment industry. But we want to keep it short and spicy. Up next, we have Denise Belfort. Saucy, wow. <laughs> I need a man to come, to come. No matter where you're from, you're from. Could I be blind or deaf and dumb and dumb? Give me plenty, not just some. Bring out the jam at in a <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's Dini Saucy Wong Bell Ford. We're back at the net, baby. Cameraman, I want you to get the full shot, full shot. I want to get the full shot. Let the people see the full shot of Denise. How are you, Denise? How are you, baby? Real good. Real good. Yeah, real, real. All right. Now, people, you should know Denise from Kakali and back in those days when she started off. And she's one of the biggest, biggest female artists we have in TNT. So what's up this year, Denise? Well, um, I have like four hit songs this year called Jamet. One is called Jamet. One is called Unwind the Wine. One is called The One-Eyed Serpent. And the other one, boy, nerves. Wait, so that was the unwind just now? Nah, that was the jam at me. That was the jam. Oh, yeah. that is the controversial yes. one that everybody talking yes, about. Yes, that's the one. Wait, so how does it feel when people talk about you and say, well, he needs a fine shit too rude and thing? Yes, well, well um, over the years, I have um, learned to overcome, you know, um, all people, the are, yeah, all them kind of things. I really don't take them on again. All that I say, the people that love Denise Belfort, I love you back. Those that don't love me, I love you too. And love respect every time, you know? <laughs> so Denise, I heard you have a song called Ninja Bang. Yes. It's a collaboration with uh, Treason. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, so do you write all your songs or? No, I don't. But <laughs> um, there are a lot of people that look at me, you know, like learn my history, come to see me perform. And then they, they, they put their writing to what I do on stage. So this is why um, I have a chemistry with certain writers. The group Flavor is one. Um, third base. Um, the producers, uh, people like Shell Shock, Third Base, um, Ken Holder, KMC. These people and I, we, we, we have chemistry whenever we write and produce together, that kind oh, of thing. So all five, all five of your songs this year, were written by someone else. You yes, know yes. All right then. Well, she spoke about third base. Up next, we have DJs in the net, one of our features. Remember, keep it locked right here, the net. DJ. DJ in the net. DJ. You know me as Franco from 98.9 FM, and my name is actually Ferenc De Freitas. Papa. Really active. Crazy Hopkinson. 96, number one. I attended Trinity College back in the day. <laughs> Not gonna say how far back in the day, but you know, being there, they had some influences. Uh, TMC, the Trinity Music Cooperation. Yeah, some other guys like Ubiquiti, Professional Sin, 
the DJ stuff actually started in my fourth, um, fourth form of Trinity College when I and a couple of guys from my class got together and decided why not try this on a bigger scale. Playing of course for um, Mukadi, which was the highlight for us and uh, the disco was you know when we really started off things. After that I branched off, uh, made a link with the infamous Dr. Hyde and from there we went onto the radio, um, the radio station stream from a uh, 95.1 from uh, 1992. I um, attained with my education at Trinity College. The opportunity was there to further my education, maybe at a university level, you know. But I chose to go to the song, song system, you know, DJ entertainment life. I really, really kind of get into the entertainment uh, as a very young guy um, in my early teens, dancing on party time and, and you know, playing in house parties here. I also throwing parties, house parties, as you know, 14, 13, now coming out of uh, primary school. And um, it just grew. Um, but really active, um, form itself from that. Going around Diamondville, train parties, me and a, 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 a good friend of mine. We went by the name of Masters of Creativity, and as everybody was growing up and times go on, I realized, you know, I really don't need to get a name that simple but effective, not too hard, not too soft, you know. I'm writing on a piece of paper one day come up with me really active and from there on we um, started pulling one or two other guys into the group Piper, John Boy who's now with Excalibur and you know started to throw more parties than we threw our, threw our launch party, unofficial launch sorry, on the 15th of December 1995. Remember that. My prediction is DJs will outdo sound systems. People like Scribbles, DJs like Scribbles, Funk Master Flex and other club DJs, well, for more part, the club DJs have always been around and the future seems to lie there. Sound systems uh, started to pick up past Jamaica. When I say past Jamaica, it started there with the sound system. Being, not taking any kudos away from Stone Love and, and sound systems like Renaissance and stuff, but uh, Jamaica will always have their niche. And they will always, they are always known for that sound system uh, type of thing, DJing or whatever you want to call it. But DJs, however, uh, and, uh, in the future, I see them being the, the bigger part of it because clubs will always be around. People will always want to, you know, go to a club rather than okay. There's a small part of the world that is really into the sound system and and into into the sound system. So, you know, I think DJs will definitely be the future. I think the DJ sound system business. I have a few hundred years to go still, you know, because music keep changing. I mean, uh, hip hop for the like last 10 years ago, hip hop is not the same as now. Dance all last 10, 10 years ago, it's not the same, you know. Uh, people changing. It's a, it's a it's life, and music is life. Song business is life. Song business is the you know, music, you know. So, there is a future. Well, whether it be you want to be a DJ or whether you want to get into radio or maybe television, persistence is the key. Just like Norris Mann says, it, it has a lot to do with it. In fact, in whatever you do, persistence is always the key because it's not going to happen overnight. You have a lot of teething times to go through, so to speak, and you have to prepare. If you really love it with a passion and that's what you really want to do, you stick with it and you learn as you go along. My advice to anybody trying to get in the media, song business, DJ, entertainer. You really have to love it, right? Um, you have to be, try to be original. Um, you know, you have to have a, a bit of discipline as well. Right? Um, and you have to keep an a, a, a open head as well. In the business, there's a lot of positives and negatives and you have, you have to be able to deal with this. You know, um, especially like the more popular you might get, certain things might, you know, come your way and it's how you deal with it. You know, certain things you have to say, you can't say no more. You used to say, you can say. Certain things you used to do, can do, you can't do no more. 
you know, um, certain people like all of a sudden be on here for no reason, and are jealous, and all these things you, know, you need to deal with um, getting into the business, um, and you have to have a, a business head because at the end of your time, at least something out of count, you know, and you have, to show, you have to show well. This is what I've seen in my time, being a song man or being an entertainer, you know, or being a cameraman, you know. So I just think it's a, it's a, it's a bit of discipline and focus to be, you know, once you need to get into this business, like everything else in life. Now that's a hard question. I'll tell you why. I love soca music with a passion. And this year, more than any other year, we have had a tremendous amount of good music coming out from both newcomers and seasoned artists. It's hard to put your finger on something at this time, uh, seeing it's not even the new year just yet, but um, it's hard to put my finger on, on, on a song or, or give you a top 10 listing because not all the music is in yet. Hot Jams to 202, I must say. This carnival have a lot of, lot of, a lot of good stuff. Um, I think my favorite right now would have to be Break from Marshall and Ecstatic. I like Traffic, Eddie, Thank You, um, well, Shadow, it's my hero from a long time. I'm still waiting on Super. You know, you must go come good. I know that. A lot of good hits this year, but my favorite has to be Break from Marshall and Ecstatic. And the shadow commander. So we're back here again with Denise Saucy Wong Bell for Denise. I hear you have a big contract, girl. <laughs> I hear you have a big contract. Yes. Tell us, tell me, tell us some more about it now. Um, actually, um, there's a group out of London, well, New York actually, that works in London and Europe called Masters at Work. A lot of DJs know about them internationally, and um, they are affiliated with Tommy Boy Records. Um, they stumble on my song, Work, which everybody knows it as the Yard Man. <laughs> um, mm. Nasty. Um, he was the producer of the song, and they contacted us. And after that, it was history. Oh, so I guess you have more international dates now? Yes, lots, uh, lots, lots, uh, lots. Lots, <laughs> you're boosting now. <laughs> yeah, because um, over the years, I've been wondering, well, when this, when the soca business gonna, you know, like, pay off, or when I'll see the light of some kind of something that, that from the age of nine I was looking forward to becoming a star, and right now things are looking like. Don't worry, Denise. She's <laughs> a star. Don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> so we're here with Denise, and she's becoming a legend in her own right. Right. So when we get back, our second feature, Living Legends, right here, the net. I'm Winston Bailey, the shadow. Some people say I'm a living legend. The living legend, shadow. shadow. The first Calypso I heard, you know, was when I was a little fella, you know. Then that time is a long time ago. In the days of the gramophone, I was in Lekito in Tobago. That was no bright place with them. Uh, street light and all this kind of thing. But when I hear this gramophone thing, something they to wind up. And they play this Calypso thing. I tell my great aunt, play that again for me. She played and, and, and I made her ask her to play it over and over. And then I just go on with that, you know. I knew I wanted to do that. So from since then, I was trying to write Calypso. I would just try, try, try until one time I was walking up Lavanti and I did one. I say, uh huh, like I start to understand the thing. The music was always there, but something I wanted to get into because I used to listen to all them great Calypsonians and things. And I used to know when a song good. So I was supposed to know when I did a good one. And from then on, I know I was on the on the right road. From the first song I did, which was um like the threat, um the threat uh, uh, which I sang in '71, when 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 I was threatening to be Sparrow and Kitchen at the the greats in Calypso at the time, you know they're still great, right? But um they, they were just outstanding, and I came in and 
I, I, I was bullfaced. I just wanted to throw them. You know, I come in, I just want, I just want to get there. I don't want to pass quite wrong there and pass wrong there. I want confrontation, musical confrontation, you understand? I'm feeling the thing coming out of me. So I think, uh, uh, Kitchener, is this still band boys give this tune a simple try? What I knew I. But I didn't work, eh? so the next day I come, I say, last year I tell them that I could beat them. They getting on as though it's a problem. Let me make this clear. Before I came here, my name was Babel. I had the best orchestra in hell. Just listen to Sweet Babe. Boom. His music in the place for that didn't work. Eh? They didn't work. That is uh, 71, 72, so 73. I come back again. I said, but them fellas are hard, boy. They, they think I go stop. But tell them they lie. I come out to fight and it's battle until I die. Sparrow and Kitchener, I hear the walking Obia. If they sing the way, you can't stop them on Carnival Day. I don't want to get vexed and lose my temper. Mr. Kitchener, oh yeah, and Mr. Sparrow. Anytime I get vexed, I go use my razor. I want you know you carry me by the Obia man too. Well, nobody didn't take me and they came by no Obia man. So I went up Lavanti and I go in the back there. They're not listening to me. But I can't stay from there. I work too hard in this thing. I have to get up there. So I come with, I, 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 I think jump in my head, you know? I think just go on in my head and I just go on crazy and I come down and say, Ivum bidum, pam, pam, pum, pitum, pum. And the tongue just go on crazy. I don't decide that, that, that. Dancing like you're afraid to touch me. I come out to play. So I was supposed to answer second in the road, man. Uh huh, and then I feel good now. And people say, Yeah, you just think he was joking. He really wasn't joking. The man was serious. Uh huh. I was feeling good about that. Sometimes when I go in the tent and I try to get in, all my friends get in the tent. From the time I start to sing, they say, That one good. He is good. Sing another one. As I sing a piece, Yeah, that good. But when the time comes to go on the stage, I didn't want the input in, you know. That happened for a long time. It's that time when you come now when I go in up rice, when I come in up rice road, walking, I cry from day to Lavanti, boy, all of that happened, you know. I cry and go up by Picton Foot and just sit down there and say, Father, Father, I ain't gonna stop. Tell them I ain't gonna stop. The worst thing is just to do a bram bram thing and look for money. <laughs> yeah? The worst thing, because um, you, you might get through one time. And then when you ain't getting through, after that you get frustrated. But the best thing, if you love it, just stick with it, stick with it. You could still do the Bam Bam one, but stick with it and try to create the great ones, you know? And, and, and then it could happen for you. That's the best thing you could do, really, in that if you want to be successful. Leroy, I have a message to give you. Leroy, I have a secret to tell you. You in love with Matilda. She invite you for dinner. Mama don't start to prepare. She don't boil, she underwear. Don't go in them people's house. I'm warning you. Don't go in them people's house. I'm telling you. Go mangala in the coffee. Go mangala in the mobi. Go mangala in the porridge. Go mangala in the sandwich. If you eat them people food, you turn stupid. And when you start feeling good, you're done married. Go mangala in the tulum. Go mangala in your boom boom. <laughs> <laughs>
Sleep Night Live. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. 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 It's yours. Yes, most definitely. I believe that our local artists deserve a chance to be on the radio station just as well as any artists in Trinidad and Trinidad in the Caribbean. If it can happen elsewhere, it can more than happen happening without thinking. They deserve it. They deserve the pips. They work hard for the money. They work hard for the, the art form and they deserve everything that we can get them. Play it more on the radio station. Well, yes, most definitely. I think there should be more music on local radio because right now Trinidad, well, I'm Tobago, is too Americanized that too much hip hop and all that stuff. Definitely, definitely, because America promotes their rap music. We need to promote our calypso music. Yeah. Yeah. And you, sir? Absolutely. I'm from Canada, and in Canada, most definitely, we promote local music for black people, especially. Yes, there should be more local music on most of the stations. We, we have them on two little stations. Just one or two of them. There should be a lot more. All right, listen, I, I travel a bit. I've been in Germany for four years. I reside in Canada right now, and definitely I come home to listen to some of my cultural music on the radio stations. I wish if we as Trinidadians would focus on our culture or music and develop it, you know, like how oh, we have reggae all over the world. Maybe we should do that to Calypso, for example, or Soka Chutney, whatever we have, you know what I mean? So we could big up Trinidad internationally. Definitely, we need more local artists performing on the local stations. It's Trinidad, we need to promote the, the people down here. We have a lot of talent being wasted. Yes, I do. Fine, it should have more local music on the radio. Because a lot of people are, in other countries are playing their music and we are not playing ours. So we should be playing more of ours and less of theirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we should have more music, man, because, you know, like, promoting all the foreign artists and, you know, the new local artists. For right now, personally, I have some regions, you know, they release a little tune. They are here to play, they are all at all at all. And only late, late in the season, late in the night, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, you're hearing them. And then right, people are to make the money too. You know? Yeah, most certainly. Yeah, well, that's because this is where our is our music first and foremost. We mustn't expose other people's culture and, and I don't know what I mean. Advertise for them before us. We first, they have to come after. I think there should definitely be more local music on the radio, particularly outside of the carnival season, because in Trinidad, I've noticed we are very seasonal with our music. At Christmas time, you hear some of the soca parang, some of the traditional parang, and you hear some of the soca building into the carnival season. After the carnival season, you don't hear much of the local music on the radio, and I think that's bad, because if we expect people to like and appreciate our music, we have to do it ourselves in terms of the Calypso, the soca and the steel pants. I think we should definitely have more music on the radio stations. It's mandatory to have 30% local music every, throughout the year. I don't think that's enough. I think it should be 50% because it's our music and if we do appreciate it. We can't expect people outside to appreciate it. We can't expect them to love it and we can't expect them to go anywhere. And I don't, I, now if we just play it like during carnival time, if somebody comes outside of carnival time, they wouldn't know what is our music about, what we like and what we do, because we, do, we have Calypso, we have Soka, we have Rap, so we have Steel Pan. So I definitely think we should have more, you know, more local music on the radio. And on TV too, actually, more local videos. Uh, actually, yes, and any type wants Soka, gospel, reggae, dance, all. Calypso, Soka, yes, I know like gospel, Calypso, yes, Soka, gospel, Soka, everything. Must be local, 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 local. Hey, so that was a wonderful first performance by Denise Belfort. Candy, what do you think about it? Uh, I think I take in some points. That's what I think. <laughs> anyway, that was that. Up next, my favorite. <laughs> Your favorite what? <laughs> and everybody do song. Unwind the wine. I want it and people applies this time. But here what I want. I want some men to come up in a little while and show me what unwinding is, alright? So we have any brave men and coconuts. I want all of them to come up. Select the run it.
on the net, where we specifically try to help young people break into the entertainment industry. Each week we take letters and emails that you send to us at thenetlive at hotmail.com or you can write to us straight at Bread Boy Entertainment, 39 Golden Street, Portisfield. This week we're taking a letter from Curtis Allen. Curtis, thanks for logging on to the net. Curtis is a big David Rudder fan and he also wants to know what kind of training he'd need to get into sound engineering and producing. Well, Curtis, my advice to you would be to finish your secondary education. After that, you could probably try to apply to one of the North American or British colleges that offer sound engineering as a degree. In addition, we also hooked up with one of the country's top producers, Mr. Ken Holder himself, and hear what he has to say about his break into producing. My name is Ken Holder, Ken Shorrock Holder, a music producer, work with ex presently working with Ecstatic, big, big, big family, Ecstatic Limited. I was like late 80s, you know, late 1988s, 89s, down in them areas, you know. Um, little kid going to school, going junior sec, you know what I mean? My brother had a group. Them days was rap, man. Them days was hip hop. It was all about hip hop and rap, you know what I mean? Um, going to school and stuff, they on weekends will go Fresh Fest. I know whoever remember Fresh Fest, them days are Fresh Fest, Big C going all over the country, you know what I mean? And they would like on weekends, they would say, well, Ken, you know, come join them, come hang out with them, you know what I mean? From that point on, I knew that there was something about this that I like. Even if you want to get into the music business, you had to consider somewhere along the line, I ain't trying to preach or stress you, you had to consider somewhere along the line to, you had to go to school and understand how to operate all these things. You see all these buttons here, man? All them buttons, looking real nice and stuff. There's a right way and a crazy way to operate it. And the right way is the, is the better way because they know what I'm talking about. They had to go to school to understand that somewhere along the right. I just came out from a course, me and a couple of brethren from the ecstatic family. We went up Ohio, recording workshop and represent. I mean we came out with flying colours and certificate. We're gonna plug this in our music and make it, you know, better. You need to do that too. Come to Ed Gordon. On our weekends, we will, we will try to help you as best as we can. Teach you what we know, what we learn, expose it to one of this, you know what I mean? And 
really try to get it the right way. Till they can afford it, till they can afford to go to school, you know what I mean? And, and really get it the right way. Certificates, degrees, diplomas, these things are important here. Trust me. Well, Curtis, I hope that information was very helpful. And remember, any questions and comments, send them to thenetlive at hotmail.com. Or you can write to us at Bread Boy Entertainment, 39 Gold Street, Port of Spain. Remember to include a return address and telephone number so that we can retain information and may be helpful to you. I'm Candy, and thanks for joining me on the net. See you next week. Dear Candy. So we're back here at the net, and that was a very wonderful performance by Denise. Thank Denise, you very much. baby. And they have all the men in trail and lost in right now. They're watching you on the scene. My gosh, I want some more. Yes, cameraman, get some more. <laughs> so what, that was the unwind? Or that was the what? That was everything. That was everything. Everything, yes. Yeah, I'm telling you. Only get it, get it live here now. Remember, it's the net. Candy waiting. You think you could unwind the wine? Uh, let's just leave that for Miss Saucy while was up, okay? She did it very well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, Denise. Well, Denise, thanks, thanks. Thanks once again for coming to the show. All right. I want to congratulate you on your contract, and I hope you have much success in the season to come. Thank you very right? much. So, you were locked onto the net. Remember, every week we have a new artist running all through the season. So, you got to keep it right here at the net. Next week, a new artist.